In the summers of 1985, a group of researchers were about to make a discovery that would change their lives forever when they sent a weird-looking robot machine called Argo into the sea. Argo was the first to discover the shipwreck of the long-lost RMS Titanic that had sunk nearly seven decades ago. Argo was an ROV, a remotely operated vehicle used for many underwater explorations, but Argo had a few limitations. It required a human to operate it from the ship deck. So we went one step ahead, removed the wire and the human, and built what is called an AUV. It is still an underwater vehicle, but now it is autonomous. AUVs or autonomous underwater vehicles are used for a variety of different research and surveillance purposes. It is used for ocean floor mapping, recording environmental information, identifying hazards to navigation, documenting shipwrecks, examining the effect of global warming, and so much more. A recent example of the extensive use of AUVs was in the search for the missing Malaysian flight MH370. Eight AUVs were deployed, which could scan 1,200 kilometers per day at depths of up to 6,000 meters. AUVs are often used when diving by humans is either impractical or dangerous. By going where humans can't go, these underwater robots help us to safely study the ocean. AUV ITB is a team of 40 plus tech enthusiasts studying various disciplines at IIT Bombay. All of us are united by a passion to learn, create and contribute to technological advancements in the field of underwater robotics. The team's journey started in 2011 and since the inception, we have created a series of AUVs named the Matsya series. We regularly participate in various national and international competitions like SAVE SAVE and RoboSub. RoboSub, organized by RoboNation, is pretty much the mecca of underwater robotics competition. All the top teams across the globe compete amongst each other by showcasing the capabilities of their AUVs. This is an annual competition held in California, USA. NIOT SAVE SAVE is a national level competition organized once in two years. It sees participation from teams coming from all parts of the country. Every year, we try to enhance our vehicles, ensuring consistent improvement in our vehicle's capabilities. All of it is tiring at times, but most certainly, always fun and fulfilling. Our debut vehicle, Matsya 1, was the lightest AUV at the 15th Robusup competition in 2012 with a weight of just 20 kilograms. Matsya 1 had a 5 thruster configuration for its 5 degrees of freedom. It had a single cylindrical hull to minimize drag forces and was loaded with temperature and pressure sensors and a basic mission planning module. It had an endurance of 60 minutes and could achieve speeds of 0.65 meters per second. The vehicle was capable of navigating to a given point, maintaining its position against external disturbances and could also detect objects using the camera. Our second vehicle, Matsya 2, had separate enclosures for electronics, battery pods and cameras. Actuators were introduced for torpedoes, for gripping objects and latches were installed for the quick removal of the end cap from the main hull. Hulls were made cuboidal for better space optimization. An additional degree of freedom, sway, was introduced as well. This version of our vehicle actually housed its own onboard computer with an Intel Core processor. ROS was also used for inter-node information relay and Gazebo was utilized in testing the simulations. As for the third edition of Matsya, we used Doppler Velocity Log. We were in fact the first team from India to do this. We used four grippers and introduced a different design for the vehicle. It had Ethernet-based inter-board communication and also saw Navigator Package Edition. We also introduced machine learning-based object detection using sliding window detectors and feature vector extractors. The fourth iteration of Matsya had undergone several additions. We now had two battery hulls to increase endurance time, underwater kill switches and a six thruster configuration. It also had an improved GPIO board to reduce wiring, a redesigned controller for 5 degrees of freedom and a 3D simulation tool. The Matsya 4 stood first in NIOT SAVE 2016 and was a runner-up in RoboSub 2016. This was the first time in the history of the competition that an Indian team had come in the top three. We were able to defeat other long-standing global champions from well-renowned universities across the world. We are proud to say that our vehicle 
managed to inspire other teams from India to explore the field of underwater robotics. In the fifth version of our vehicle, we added a hydrodynamic surface to reduce drag and the vehicle now had a skeletal type frame. Two additional thrusters were installed, resulting in eight thrusters in total that now enabled all the six degrees of freedom. We also added swappable battery pods in the vehicle for easier battery replacement during competition runs. This time, our AUV was the second fastest AUV in the RoboSub competition. We also moved from a state machine to a probabilistic model. And for the first time, machine learning was introduced for object detection. This was possible only because of the addition of a dedicated desktop-grade GPU, NVIDIA GTX 1660Ti. And now, our vehicle was also capable of simultaneously detecting multiple tasks. Our latest version of Matsya is unique in its own kind, being that it is completely simulated, owing to the inability to assemble a physical model as a result of the COVID situation. Nevertheless, our team persevered and managed the assembly of a state-of-the-art vehicle. Three new hulls were introduced, two battery hulls and one ESC hull. Custom GPU mounts were made for better heat dissipation. This time, the electrical subsystem had new debug boards to monitor all voltages, signals and currents across a vehicle. A new LCD screen for crucial information display was also used. On the software side, the mission planner was improved and simplified and a GUI interface was also utilized for mapping purposes. Our team is divided into four subdivisions, mechanical, electrical, software and business. The mechanical subdivision does the job right from ideation and fabrication to the testing and waterproofing of the vehicle. We work specifically on bringing all possible mechanical advancements in the vehicle to perform a task effectively. We take into account the rigidity, compactness, robustness of mechanical components and the dynamics of the vehicle. We develop CADs and perform structural analysis for designing our vehicle and work day in and day out to make it a reality. Basically. To robotics at your doorstep. Elec is the link between mech and software. We don't sleep, we debug all night. We are responsible for the electronic requirements of the sensors, thrusters, onboard computer, cameras, and much more. The main tasks carried out by us are power management, interfacing of the sensors, and communicating between various nodes. We build custom designed dedicated boards to regulate the flow of power and signals across the vehicle. The software subdivision puts the A in AUV. Our 15,000 plus lines of code enable our vehicle to navigate the competition arena and perform tasks autonomously. We write a wide variety of code, including low-level drivers that interface with our sensors, machine learning for object detection, and algorithms that help the AUV avoid obstacles in its path. But not only do we write large quantities of code, but we also write with high quality. We follow some of the best practices in the industry and supplement our code with extensive inbuilt tests and documentation. Apart from coding, we rigorously test our vehicle in the simulator and in the pool to catch and rectify any bugs. At the end of the day, we are constantly on the lookout for new ways of improving the performance and stability of our code and hence enabling the vehicle to work at its full potential. Our responsibility is to maintain a positive and favorable view of the team. Our tasks include bringing funds and sponsorship for the team, managing our website and social media pages, and acting as AUVITB spokespeople.